Thank you, Omar, for this introduction. Uh, first of all, allow me to welcome uh, the biggest delegation of the AMSHAM to Egypt. In fact, we're grateful for each and every one of you here. Uh, we appreciate your interest in Egypt, in the Egyptian economy, and in the country. So thank you to each and every one of you. It is also for me a great pleasure to be here. As a matter of fact, it's a breath of fresh air uh, to see beautiful people, smiling faces. It's a big change from my daily routine uh, in the office and in the boardroom of uh, the Prime Minister's office where I usually spend more than 13 hours a day and it's never sufficient to deal with or to cope with the uh, daily issues. Uh, it is also for me an opportunity to tell all those who heard me say back in uh, February when I was in Washington that Egypt is in need of a strong man who can pull the country together, and they were very skeptical. To those who didn't believe me uh, that this strong man will be able <clears throat> and is willing to draw on his popularity to take the very difficult decisions and painful uh, decisions uh, needed to reform the uh, Egyptian economy, well, I want to tell them that I was right. We have elected a strong man. He is pulling the country together, and he has taken the first steps uh, to, uh, and difficult decisions uh, to uh, reform the Egyptian economy. And I am sure that he will pursue uh, his, uh, uh, I mean, his difficult decisions and until and put Egypt on the right track. Uh, politically, socially, and economically. This being said, let me be uh, very brief, as brief as possible, uh, to tell you where the Egyptian economy is in broad, general, and simple terms. Uh, as you know, Egypt, the Egyptian economy is, has three deficits. The first one is a fiscal deficit, the 2013-2014 uh, uh, budget uh, has had a deficit that amounted yet again to 12% of the GDP, which resulted in an increasing accumulated public debt. And this requires a serious reform of uh, the fiscal structure. And this reform aims at substantially reducing energy subsidies while increasing public spending on uh, services, uh, health, education, uh, public transport, environment, to take care of the social justice issues. And on the other hand, we need to increase uh, public revenues, raising tax rates, introducing uh, VAT uh, tax, uh, value-added tax, and uh, trying as much as possible to uh, bring the informal sector into uh, the formal economy. I won't uh, be long on this subject because I know uh, that uh, members of the delegation uh, will meet our uh, brilliant Minister of uh, Finance, and he will no, no doubt explain uh, at length, uh, he has the habit of being very uh, explaining at length uh, the uh, details of the financial policies of our government, and he will emphasize the fact that our aim, or his aim in the first stage, is to reduce the budget deficit to 10 percent uh, of uh, the GDP, which is a very, very difficult, uh, a very difficult step to take. Uh, given the situation. But uh, I have to emphasize here that uh, the decisions that have been taken to uh, reduce uh, the uh, subsidies on oil and oil products 
and the declared plan to uh, increase the prices of electricity over a period of uh, five years with a view to eliminate, completely eliminate, the uh, subsidies on electricity uh, the fifth year.